Hey y'all, it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Swimsuit Saturday, y'all. I am so excited. I feel like I've been talking about Swimsuit Saturday since it ended, I want to say August of last year. I feel like we wrapped it up. Um, so if you are not familiar, I will leave all those videos linked down below, by the way. But Swimsuit Saturday is where we try a different brand of swimsuits every single Saturday throughout the summer. And spring, I guess, because it's not technically summer yet. I have done so many of these in the past. So we will hit some of those main uh, retailers, brands again, because they are super popular and most of them are super affordable. So we will hit those, but also I want to try new brands. So I have a list internally of all the places that I want to try, but I always, always, always love to hear what y'all want to see. So leave it in the comment section down below so I can take a look, add it to my list. We'll see how many people are in favor of those same brands and then we will go from there. I also did a poll over on Instagram asking your price range for swimsuits, zero to 50 bucks or 50 bucks or more. And the majority, which is no surprise to me, said zero to $50. Swimsuits can get pretty pricey, even more so when I am doing these types of videos because it's every single week for months that I'm ordering and buying these swimsuits. So I appreciate the swimsuit staying on the lower end of pricing. In today's video, we are going to try Target. I went to Target, I go to Target often, so I was gonna say a few weeks ago, but I go to Target pretty often, but I did go this time and take pictures and share on Instagram a lot of the swimsuits that they had so far for plus. And let me say, they do have more than I expected and then a bunch of different styles, so not just one pieces with ruffle skirts, which I've seen mostly in the past. They have quite a few two pieces and very, very colorful ones off the shoulder, ruffles, like all sorts of things. So I think Target is a great option to do first because number one, it's affordable. Number two, it's super easily accessible for a lot of y'all. I know in store, they don't carry as much as they do online, but I wanna shop in store because I feel like it's more fun for y'all to watch. So everything you are about to see, I will link in the description box down below. I will also tell you what size I'm wearing, how much I paid for it, all that fun stuff that I say every single time we do a try on haul video. So what we're gonna do now is get in the car and head to Target. We'll do a little shopping vlog, and then we'll come back here and try everything on. We have made it to Target. Last time I was here, they did have quite a few swimsuits. So let's hope they still have those, if not more. So this is what they have front section and then they've got all of these here. I didn't see this one last time. That is so cute. Unfortunately, that one's not my size, but that is so cute. Okay, so this one gives me like 70s vibes, really pretty. Oh, that has underwire. Oh, animal print, see? That's pretty too. This like paisley type is really nice. Where was the one I saw? Oh, this one here. This is stunning, y'all. Absolutely stunning. Oh no, I hope they have it in my size. This one is really pretty too. Actually, someone uh, sent me a message on Instagram saying they owned this two-piece and loved everything about it. Oh, I don't see bottoms though. I just see a bunch of tops. Hmm. Oh no, there's the bottoms. Okay. All right. So let's grab a bunch of stuff. So I'm already running into problems with this one. They don't have this one in my size. Also, the bottoms don't look super high-waisted. So I'm nervous about that. Same with these. They don't really look high-waisted. Yeah, they call them the hipster, which we know I like things super high-waisted. We are home now. I have the goods. I also feel like my hair is a little flat, but frizzy at the same time because I also picked Cash up from the groomers and we drove home with the windows down, just letting her live her best life. So she also just stepped on the tripod. All right, so I ended up grabbing six complete swimsuits. As you could tell, quite a few of the sizes were sort of picked over, um, but I feel like I got a, a good range of brands. So that way, if you see something you like online, that I didn't try on, you can kind of refer to the brand to see how the sizing may be. Those are my hopes. So let's uh, just try everything on. I'm excited. I know y'all are excited. I hope that you love everything in this video and let's get into it. 
All right, first swimsuit we have, again, as always in videos, I will put a video here of me wearing it full body. So this is the brand Kona Soul. I had to get the top in an 18, the bottoms are a 2022, only because they didn't have the size I wanted available in store. But I figured as far as the top, I would rather it be a little bit snug than loose. So that's why I size down versus sizing up. I love the pattern. First of all, this is such a pretty tropical. We know I like tropical things that hasn't changed since last summer. So this one is really pretty. I also love how long the top is. It's got this thick elastic band here. This ruching here, you can cinch it as much as you want. I left it how it came from the store so that I could show you. And then I will untie this and show you that you can make it a little bit longer like that if you wanted and then just tie this bit at the bottom. I did the same thing with the bottom. So it has this ruching on the side here that I was able to just untie and separate because I wanted these a little bit higher. So these are mid-rise, they call them high-waisted. It sits right above my belly button. I mean, it's, it's pretty much on my belly button. And here's what we look like from the back. So these straps are adjustable. They also come off if you wanted to crisp cross them in the back. And then it's got double hooks here, which I have it hooked on the last one, you can tell. But it has two more options, if not three more, if you needed it a little bit tighter on both of them to cinch it in even more. So here we go, first swimsuit of Swimsuit Saturday. I'm very happy with it. All right, let's do this exhilaration one next. It's that one that I said kind of reminds me of the 70s. Unfortunately, you won't get to see the bottoms on me. While they fit, they're a hipster, like bikini style, and it's just not my thing. Like they sit super low, like inches below my belly button, and I just, I'm not comfortable in those. So you won't see them on me, but I think it's good to know that. Like if you love that kind of bottom, then you'll probably love these. I also love this like tie bit. And the front I think is so pretty. So here's a close up of the pattern. I grabbed the bottoms in a 2022, the top is in a size 20. Like it's not cheeky or anything like that. Like everything's fine except for they sit really low. So here's a look at the top. I just threw on a pair of my own black bottoms. I've shown you these for years. I got them from Torrid. They're ruched, high-waisted, love everything about them. So I think a good pair of black bottoms could go with quite a few different suits. So this top actually fits really, really nice. So it does have padding in it here, no underwire, but it has this like boning bit, if you can see right there on the side, which is really nice and just secures it to you there. Straps are adjustable. Um, I feel like I'm in here pretty good as well. And here we go at the back. So it looks kind of like the first one that Kona Soul one I just had on. So it's got the double clasps, adjustable straps that do come off. You could crisscross them if you wanted to. Um, I like the doubleness here. However, I will say like being alone filming this video right now, it's been a little bit difficult because you hook them, put the swimsuit top over your head and then they like pop open. Um, but I still think the look of it is really pretty. I should have known too with these bottoms because they say hipster on them. I'm pretty sure I showed that to y'all in the store. Um, but I still wanted to give them a go because I think hipster can mean different things for different body shapes. And since I do carry quite a bit of my weight in my hip, like lower stomach area, this just didn't work for me. So how pretty is this, y'all? So this is just the top. I still have on those torrid bottoms. It's the brand Aqua Green, which is the first time I've seen this brand ever. Uh, usually Target carries, you know, like the typical brands that they have. Uh, this is in a size 20. I am like living for the blue and red. I would have never thought the blue and red could be summery, I guess. I don't know. But this is really, really fun. So it's a tankini style, obviously. And then you've got all of these really fun ruffles. There's one, two, three, and then like your base layer at the bottom. So this is really, this is pretty, y'all. You could also wear this top with like a pair of white denim shorts. And you've got you like 
a cute little outfit. So it's got a slight uh, V in the front and then the back, the straps are adjustable. Um, did I mention that it has padding, no underwire? And then the back is just the patterned base. There's no ruffles or anything like that. This was the perfect size, y'all. Like looking at it on camera and then just feeling it, this was the absolute perfect size. Okay, I really like this one. I just felt a hole here, which means you can take the padding out if you wanted to. Yep, I can feel it. Uh, so that's good to know. I know not everyone likes the padding in their bras. So here we go, number three is really pretty. I try to get, I say this a lot in videos, I try to get different styles because I know not everyone likes the exact same style. So this one, I think a lot of y'all will really, really like. Well, let's do this one. Okay, excuse me, this green textured, almost like square neck, one piece. It's that brand Kona Soul. Okay, so this one's in a size 22 and it took a little bit of work to get into. It's, I am in this, I am sucked in everywhere, but once I got it up and got it on, it feels really nice. So I'll come close so you can see that really pretty texture there. This fits so nice and it does have a bit of like extra wiggle room, ruching fabric here. So it does have padding, no underwire, no boning or anything on the side but it feels really, really nice. It does have adjustable straps in the back. I feel like I could pull them up a little bit, quite a bit actually, um, because I do feel like the straps are a little bit loose, but again, I'm alone. Uh, but it's still a good, like you're still getting a good idea of how it looks on me. If you see like weird lines, I'm wearing my underwear with all of these, just, you know, I feel like that's the, the thing to do in life. I'm really impressed with this one. How much is it? $44.99. So it's not cheap. I feel like Target prices, like that pink 70s type swimsuit was 40 bucks. I guess it was 40 bucks for the whole thing. All right, so this one is my favorite so far. Yeah, for sure. I just, I don't own a green swim, okay, I take that back. I do own a green swimsuit, but not this like textured, sophisticated, give me like a big beach hat and like a white sheer kimono with some tan sandals. And I am in on vacation living my best life. This is not, see, and this is how it happens. Now I'm like, do I need to keep this one? I don't need any new swimsuits. I have so many, but doesn't this one just look so good? Do I need it? Oh, 45 bucks. I might keep this one. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this one's gonna work, y'all. Woo! Here we go. Oh my God. So this is that Kona Soul brand, but it's in a size 20, and it's this band right here that is, but it's meant to be strapless. There is a strap if you didn't want a strapless swimsuit, but I guess they make it super tight there with like the rubber bit so that it stays. I can't even get it up in the back, y'all, all the way. I'll show you. It looks the same as the, in the front as it does in the back. Okay, so here's this one. It's my last one. I thought I had six, but as I'm remembering back, several of them didn't have my proper size. All right, so this is also a really pretty green, tropical, uh, floral-ish off the shoulder. It's got the double ruffle here, which is really, really pretty. This one is not tight at all here. Like I've got so, quite a bit of space. It does have ruching on the side. It feels really nice. It's this part that's just, it's not gonna work for me. If it worked, it would be really, really cute. If it were comfortable and I could actually wear it, I would really like it. Maybe I'm just too large in the bust. It does have padding. Yeah, like, slight padding, oh, boning on the sides, no underwire. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm just a little bit too large here. Okay, don't judge me for the back. This is as far up as I could get it. Oh, it's really not that bad. It ain't where it's supposed to be. I thought this one would be my favorite because it's tropical, it's ruffle, it's no straps. Like, I like it, but I think it's throwing me off because it doesn't fit. 
Okay, we're gonna wrap this video up in this swimsuit because I'm gonna be honest with you. Once I take it off, I'm not putting a bra back on. I'm gonna put on some pajamas and edit this video, but you can see just how tight it is. Listen, oh, it's, it's like compression tight. My measurements and typical size that I wear are always listed in the description box down below to help you figure out what size you think you may need. I'm excited to continue Swimsuit Saturday. We're gonna do it through the end of August. So let me know your suggestions in the comment section down below. And thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.